Hello YouTube, my name is Trey, welcome to What Kind of Change. Today we're gonna to talk about um, a small segment you may have seen on X, formerly known as Twitter. Uh, Dennis Prager talking to Matt Fratt about pornography. And he goes on to say something about if you look at a certain thing, which we'll watch here in a second, is it okay? And that's what I wanna to discuss today. Before we continue, if you wanna like and subscribe after watching this, please do, you know? But if you don't want to, that's fine too. We're working on getting a soundboard here, so if you wanna donate down here, um, we're working on getting a, a soundboard, not a huge soundboard, not like a $2,000 soundboard, a PC soundboard. So we're working on that, so I appreciate your donations. Let's hop right into the video. Uh, fair enough, okay. <laughs> I, 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 I admit, I'll I'll I wanna say this, I watched this entire thing. I suggest you do too. You can see it's called Heated Debate on Pornography with Dennis Prager. Uh, uh, the reason we're gonna we're not gonna start at the clip first. I want to give you guys the context that leads into the conversation. That way, it makes more sense. I'll Maybe ask, after I'll ask you your play wife. Your cards, okay. Right? Uh, but every man thinks that way if there's a part of the of her body that is particularly a turn on right. to use the term to him. Mm -hmm. That is objectification. Women don't do that. Women don't, uh, very, I mean, young women do. Oh, he's got a great butt. By objectification, do you mean I find a part of my wife's body that I find attractive? Sex? Uh, uh, sort of subordinating the good of my wife right. to okay. a selfish you pleasure. Have, you have drawn a behavioral inference from a thought, and I don't. Yeah. But see, I still am not convinced that this sharp distinction or the, the distinction, because I've heard Ben Shapiro say something similar. And I, so I don't know if this is, as you say, more of a behaviorist, it kind is. of Jewish yeah, idea. Because I, I think he said something like, I don't really care if you have racist thoughts. I care about how you act. That's right. I said that to the group tonight. You I did. don't care if people dislike Jews. I care how they right. treat us. But if my son or daughter. I know you're right. I would tell the same right. to my child. Right. If my child said, I don't right. like this group. But I think this is yes. what our Lord Jesus Christ is doing. In which he's saying your righteousness has to has to pass out of the Pharisees. It's not enough that you uh, don't murder. You should not want to. It's not enough that you don't commit adultery. You should not right. say but, yes. fuel the flame so, that, so lead, here, that could right. lead to I, that. I, I, I happen to think it's a good thing not to want to murder. I, I subscribe to that. <laughs> uh, but uh, there's a very interesting Hebrew phrase. I'm um, translating from the Hebrew, so it'll be a bit awkward. In, in the place that a penitent stands, the most righteous person doesn't stand. This is going to be a very interesting take. And I really, really want y'all to listen. Um, because this is, this is different. Hearing what he's about to say on this topic is going to be something, uh, something I really haven't heard before. Um, so... Check it out. And I extrapolate from that, that if you have bad thoughts and don't act on them, you're on a higher moral plane than the guy who never has a bad thought. I don't get any credit for not molesting children. Right. I, I'm as interested in children sexually as I am in bananas or, or, or peach trees. Okay. It, 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 so I get no credit for not molesting a child. But the sick dude who does want to and doesn't, mm -hmm. he gets a lot of credit. So speaking of pedophilia, uh, suppose a man says, I view animated child porn. So there's no real victim in that sense right. of child pornography, which we both agree is horrendous. And by viewing animated child porn, it prevents me from acting out sexually on a child. Now, I, I deny that. I think that pornography inflames us to then want to act those fantasies out. And I think there's good studies that back that up. But surely you wouldn't say to the man who views animated child pornography, that's not bad so long as you don't act it out. Wouldn't you want to help this poor sick dude? Yes, I would. But I'm thrilled that he's not acting it out. I mean, Agreed. Okay. Of course. Well, that's big. Yeah. We're both thrilled <laughs> that he might have a poor substitute, but it is a substitute if that were the case. No child is being used. Yeah. It's all animated. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and he but is, would you would you use the word evil of animated child pornography? Because no, I, I certainly I, would. I no, I would use evil only with behavior. That's where we might differ. Yeah. Forgetting the sex issue, you can't be evil. You didn't do evil if you thought evil. You I, did if evil I'm if I'm masturbating committed. to animated pictures of pornography. I'm not doing something evil. That's correct. Yeah, I think that's I think that's despicable. Yeah. Really? Yes, of course. 
Who is being hurt? You have to have a victim. Oh, I'll tell you, there's at least two people being hurt. There's the person who's poisoning himself by yes, encouraging yes, him to right. think I acting want, out on okay. children. And there's also so the animator. Okay, wait a minute. We both, we both are... A and that is where the clip comes from. So they continue to go into this conversation of evil and masturbation. So let me get my thoughts on it from... DJ, why you still got the donations up? Um... This is a great conversation, by the way. And towards the end, they come closer to together at the end than at the beginning. Right. And so I, I kind of hate that somebody put this on X without this context, because what it made it sound like Dennis was saying it that looking at anime porn is OK. That's not what this man, what Dennis was saying. His point of this entire interview, you have to watch it all to understand this. His argument was saying that he would rather a man. He pretty much said it right there, but you have to hear his is his thought behind it. He would rather a man look at child. It sounds terrible though, the way you're saying it. He would rather a man look at child anime porn, which I think it's called lowly. Uh, I think that's what it's called. Hold on. Let me check that out right quick. Uh, con. Uh, I think it's lowly con is a genre of fictional media which young girl uh, characters appear in romantic or sexual context. So Lolicon or Loli, one of those two. So that's pretty much what I think he's saying. And so Dennis was trying to say that if you were to look at this and masturbate to it, I'd rather you do that than to go look at, uh, than to go do stuff for children. I am with Matt Frad, which if y'all don't know the difference between these two, this is, this is Matt. The other guy is Dennis, if y'all don't know their faces. Okay. I'm more with Matt. Obviously, we're going to agree more because we're both Catholic. But at the same time, logically, if you just want to go from a logical standpoint, think about this. You're pretty much saying that I would rather a man play the fantasy in his head than go out and do it. The problem with pornography is that we see that the more a person looks at pornography and the more they do the fantasy, the more they act them out in reality. They go on to talk later. Because uh, one of the people on PragerU, I'm assuming they're talking about uh, what's, whatever her name is on PragerU. Uh, sorry, I forget, I'm forgetting your name. She talks about a time where she kisses a man. And when the man kisses her, he grabs her neck. You know, grabs her neck. She's taken aback by that. And she asks him why later on. Why did you grab my neck when you kissed me? He said it's something he's seen in movies. And also something he's seen on other stuff, as y'all know. Right? I'm sure. The problem is, is the stuff that you see, sex doesn't, sex today is driven by pornography. And people think that pornography is a depiction of how sex is supposed to go. When it's not that way. Porn is the distorted version of sex. It's the same reason why you see people get into relationships and they say the sex isn't good. The only way to know, because some people say they're scared to not, the, the reason they don't have, the reason they have sex before marriage is because they don't want to get married and the sex not be good. Who are you comparing the sex to then? There's no way you can know the sex is good or bad when inherently it's for producing a family. The only way to know that sex is good or bad is if you've had sex before with somebody and you're comparing it to a lustful feeling. I'm not saying sex shouldn't feel good, but to base it a sanctif the, sanctif the sanctification of marriage off a feeling of sex is something you can only get from a pornified world. Do you understand? So with that being said, let's go back to the masturbation conversation. Is masturbation within itself? Let's say, you, because people love to take it to the extreme, let's say you masturbate it to nothing. You didn't think about nothing. You just masturbated it to just the feeling of masturbation. Is that bad? Yes. Because masturbation is a simulation. It is not the true, it's a simulation of you, what you would be doing normally with somebody else in sex and marriage. If you're masturbating, you're doing it for the feeling that is not a good thing. You can easily get addicted to that feeling. The point of having your seed go out, and let's just be honest with ourselves, your, your children and seed should not be going on your hand 
It should not be going on a sock. It should not be going on a towel. It should be going into a female. That's the point of your seed. That is the point of sperm. It's to have children, if possible. If that is not possible, right, then you just have to be celibate. Meaning what, Trey? If you get with a woman and y'all are trying to have a child, but it never happens, you are not doing anything wrong, my brother. You're having sex with the purpose of a child. It just never happened. And then if she gets past her prime and she can't have it, you still are having sex with the chances that you still could have a child. It's still possible. There's nothing wrong with that. If you are having sex and your purpose is not to have a child, it is purely for what people will call romance today. That is not right, my man, because the purpose is to be fruitful, right? So if you are masturbating, it is not good. You are literally putting your seed on your hand when the purpose is to have the seed possibly become a baby one day, possibly become a child to continue with that union that you have with your wife in the eyes of God. <laughs> I'm getting a little crazy. But honestly, masturbating doesn't lead to anything great. Um, when you continue to fantasize looking at porn, when you continue to fantasize looking at ch child porn, which would be, in this case, child anime, anime, the lolicon, you think that that's suppressing it. That'll keep you from going out to do it. That, that just sounds insane, doesn't it? If, it's, if you're looking at children in an animated form to keep yourself from doing that to a child... You need therapy and you need help. That you that is not suppressing it. It's going to make you want to do it more. That is the point of fantasy. The more you fantasize about something, the more real it becomes to you. That is why you see men and women act out porn stuff because they've seen it in porn. That's the way they want to act out dressing up. That's why they want to act out schoolgirls or act out a, a maid taking care of a, uh, the whoever whatever you call the person who owns the maid or pays the maid, right? That's where you get all these fantasies from. The choking, the spitting in the face. Just being honest, the, uh, the facials, the stuff like that. I was, a, hey, I was a porn addict. I understand how it all goes. I understand what goes into porn. All that stuff you see, even down to the most disgusting stuff you see, the problem is that that's all fantasy. And the reason that you see darker and darker and darker pornography, and you normally see me, you normally see men, drift off darker and darker into porn it starts with just normal heterosexual porn and it goes from that to homosexual and then it goes that to transsexual and then it goes from deeper 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 y'all know what i'm talking about the reason that happens is because your fantasy continues to grow the more you think about one thing you wonder you start wondering to yourself because the mind is naturally curious what would it be like if she did this oh i wonder what it'd be like if she did this what would happen if she did this what would it look like if I watched this? I wonder if this would get me off. I wonder if this, because you do eventually become bored. You get tired of looking at the same thing, especially if you're masturbating every day to something. You're gonna, your brain is going to need to get that new high, just like taking a drug. And pornography is, to me, the worst drug of them all because it's all in the mind. It's all in your mind. Right. There is physical components, but it's because your mind won't let it go. And so you keep looking at certain stuff. You keep getting into the deeper stuff. And one thing I want to suggest. Do not. Do not. Get used to masturbating with or without porn. It will always lead you back to porn. It will lead you back to porn. Don't look at any type of porn. If you are looking at if you think that if you were looking at women in lingerie, Versus looking at a woman, especially if you've already been looking at porn, instead of looking at a naked woman, if you look at a woman in lingerie, it will lead you back to the same stuff you are looking at. There's no easy way to take a drug. There's no easy way to take a drug. It will get worse and you will end up back in the same place. Another thing that they talked about that was very interesting. At one point in the conversation, they talked about looking at lingerie. So imagine you look at lingerie and you masturbate to lingerie. Is that as bad as looking at um, B? Name whatever you want to make B. Is it as bad? Obviously, the answer is maybe not as bad. But here's the problem. And I'm glad they talked about this. 
Who is on the others? Who's in the lingerie? Would you be happy if that was your daughter in the lingerie? Would you be happy if that was your mother in the lingerie? Would you be happy if that was your sister in the lingerie? Who's in the lingerie that you're masturbating to? That is the problem with pornography, friends. The problem is it, it takes out the humanity. You think you're looking at just a woman in lingerie, but that could be your sister. That could be your daughter. That could be your mother. You don't think about that because porn within itself is selfish. You don't think about the woman in the picture. You don't. You think about your sexual fantasies. Here we are again. That's the problem. If my wife catches me looking at lingerie pictures, it's just as... If my wife catches me looking at lingerie pictures and not uh, pictures of naked women, and she got upset, is she right to be upset that I'm... Should she be less upset because I'm looking at lingerie and not looking at women who are naked? It doesn't matter. Because if I have to justify myself, be like, well, at least I'm not looking at naked women... I am simply not caring about my wife's feelings. She don't want me looking at any other woman. Is that crazy for her to think? And I don't, and we can have the discussion of biologically, a man can do all this and do that. Can I be sexually attracted to a woman? Of course I can. There's women that I'm sexually attracted to. But the problem is, is when it goes past that. If I just look at a woman and go, wow, she has a nice body and move on my life. Okay, it's the problem is when I look at her body and I start thinking about the stuff I can do with her. That turns into lust. Then it starts becoming a problem. Being sexually attracted happens. That's how we find our mates. It's going to happen. But if I start imagining myself every time I look at a woman, what I would do with her, what I would do with this, what I would do with that. No, no, no. We got to start drawing a line. And one last thing here on this topic. <laughs> We are so quick to tell men to get off their butt cheeks and go get a job. Get off your butt cheeks. Be a man. Get off your butt cheeks. Stop being so emotional. Be a man. Stop eating so much. Go to the gym. Start dressing nice. Take care of your body. Use skin care. Take care of your hair. Take care of your nails. Take a shower. Wipe your butt cheeks. We're so quick to tell men even the simplest of things. Do everything you can do to make yourself valuable. So get off your butt and do this stuff. But why, when it comes to masturbation and porn, we can, we always say, well, it's biological. If a man can stop eating so much, go to the gym, get his butt off, start making money, start doing all these improvements, why can we not teach men to not masturbate and teach men not to look at porn or at least teach them it's bad? It doesn't help them. We can teach them the same things because it's important. Masturbation doesn't lead. You will not die if you do not masturbate, friends. Remember, y'all remember being in high school and they used to teach us, is it okay to, should you masturbate before a football game? Y'all remember those conversations? Should you masturbate before a football game, before a basketball game? Should you masturbate before a boxing match? Mike Tyson had a famous quote that he wouldn't have, I believe he would not have sex before a boxing match or something like that. And we used to have these discussions. You will not die without masturbation, friend. You will live. There are plenty of people in this world that are celibate. celibate. But the, the problem that has happened today is that being a virgin is seen as a problem. Even in, here's the thing that me, even Kevin Samuels, who I like, here's something me and him disagreed upon. When he talked about having sex, you should go have sex and not be a virgin in your 40s. I completely disagree with him. I don't care if you're 40 and a virgin. You know who else is 40 and virgins? Priests, nuns, monks. There are people who are celibate and it's okay. We should never tell a man because he hasn't had sex, even if he's socially awkward. Sex will not make it easier. He should not go out there and sin in order to be less socially acceptable. We do not live our life to be socially acceptable. We live our life in a sacrifice. Okay? If you are 40 years old and a virgin, you are not a loser. If you're not married, then you're not married. Then I wouldn't expect you to be having sex if you're not married. Being a virgin today is looked down upon. I've talked about it here. A lot of men between 18 and 29 are virgins these days. Because men are more lonely. That's not inherently a bad thing. The, now, the reasoning behind that 
is a problem because synonymous with that is these men aren't getting married or even getting in relationships. That's a problem, right? Because men are too afraid to approach women these days. That's a problem. But the not having sex, I would not consider not a problem, right? Because if these were the same 18-year-old, 29 men, they weren't having sex, but they were productive in society and they weren't socially awkward. They have a conversation. They just chose not to get married or have sex. We'd be cool with it. But I digress. The point is, man, I could talk all day about this. Dennis, I get what you're saying. You'd rather a man look at... <laughs> it's it's kind of hard to defend him on just that specific part. But if you if it, it, would it be better for a man to look at pornography than to go out and do something to a woman against her will? Would it be better for a man to look at Lolicon than to go out and do something with a child? Okay, fine. But the problem is, the more they look at porn, and the more they do that, the more likely they will to be, the more likely they will to go do those things. This is not semen freed. If you were talking about if you repress it, it'll make you want to do it more. No, 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 no. There are plenty of people who are in good shape, who don't eat unhealthy food. It doesn't make them want to go be fat. <laughs> but eating unhealthy food but more likely leads you to being fat. The more you indulge in unhealthy habits, the more likely you are to end up fat. That's just how it goes. You're not going to be more likely to be fat if you decide to be disciplined. So if you decide not to look at porn, you're not going to want to go out and do stuff to women even more. That's not repression, friend. Repression, honestly, would be looking at the porn. The more you look at it, the more you're going to want to go do those things to women. So when you get in a relationship, you're not going to know how to do these things. You're going to look at sex and think she wants it hard. You're going to think she wants to be choked. You're going to think you she wants this. You're going to do all the fantasies you've seen in porn because you built it up in your head. The And if you look at the men who have gone out and done things to children, Go look at the interviews. Go watch the Ted Bundys of the world. Go watch these men who say they went out and did stuff for children. Go watch them. What is one of the one thing? What is one thing they normally say? That if you ask them, did you look at porn? Do you think a lot of them say no? It was be I did not look at porn. I was as clean as a whistle. No, a lot of them say I was indulging in porn. I was indulging in porn. A lot of it. That's what leads to this. Not the repression of, not the discipline of not looking at porn led them to it. A lot of them say they looked at porn. In fact, I don't even know if I've even seen a person who said, I went and did this with children, or I went and did this with animals. <laughs> All disgusting. I went and did something horrendous to a woman. I don't see them say, oh, it's because I was cleaning the whistle. I never looked at porn a day in my life. No. A lot of them look at porn. In fact, I want to say all of them did. I haven't seen one that didn't say that. So let's be honest with ourselves. Looking at more porn does not make you morally better. It's not going to help you live a moral life. Men who look at porn tend to be the creepiest. Let's, okay, we agree upon that. Men who look at porn tend to be the creepiest men. Men who get on OnlyFans, do you think those men are creepy or more creepy than men who don't get on OnlyFans? It tend, they tend to be creepier, right? When the women say that they hate the men that they talk to on OnlyFans, why? Because they're creepy. Because that's what porn does to you. It turns you into an animal. It turns you into a fantasy animal. So with that being said, let me know what you think. I know it was a long discussion, but we got to start. I want to start having these discussions. Porn and masturbation is not going to help you in life, buddy. It ain't. Don't let the world fool you. This sex-driven world, don't let it fool you. I've been there, done that. I'm sure you've been there, done that. A lot of men who looked at porn and masturbated at some point in their life. Tell me, did it help you? Did it make you feel better about yourself? Did you feel like you ran the world? You felt like, man, I could do anything? Doubt it. All right, guys. I'm gone.